microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Also by Nashville Violins, the string player's number one choice for their string instrument needs. Nashville Violins offers everything from lessons to repairs. Make sure you check them out at NashvilleViolin.com. Hey buddies and welcome back to week seven of Football Fantasy. I'm your host Nancy Filippelli and this week we're going to be talking about who to start, who to sit, who to pick up, and total domination of your opponent. I'd like to welcome my guest co-host Sharka Shellac to the show today, Shara Rivera. She's going to be giving us some sit-ems and stardoms and um, just her all over beautifulness. You're welcome. All right, so let's get down to the sit-em and stardom situations, shall we? Start Andy Dalton, Cincinnati Bengals versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Even though Pittsburgh isn't the greatest team to start your quarterback against at this point, the fact remains that Dalton has thrown for over 300 yards in three games and has three touchdowns in three of his past five games. At this point, he's pretty much a proven that he should start and be, be started in most matchups. Okay. Start Andrew Luck, Indianapolis Colts versus the Cleveland Browns. Luck has had a poor showing against the Jets last week, yet he did throw for 280 yards thanks to him consistently throwing the ball. He's playing against the defense that is allowing 294 passing yards and 15 touchdowns total. There is no way to consider sitting him unless you have one of the top elites, like I do Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Sit Joe Flacco, Baltimore Ravens at Houston. What is going on with the Ravens? I don't you know. Guys? I wish you'd answer it. Flacco has thrown for a total of 421 yards in the past two games and has two touchdowns in his past three games. The Texans are one of the top defenses in the league, though they are susceptible to the touchdown pass, allowing 12. That is the only reason he can be even considered. But given these numbers, the past few weeks, only start him if you are having bye week problems or a short in that position. Don't you agree with me? Yes, makes sense. I, You're the expert. Nancy I would agree Bella with Pelly. me. Running backs, uh, New England, uh, New New York Giants. Ahmad Bradshaw's latest foot injury doesn't sound serious, but the running back returned to practice for the New York Giants on Thursday and pronounced himself ready for this week's game against the Washington Redskins. Yeah, yes. The Redskins have been tough against this run this season, but given the fact that Bradshaw was the first running back to score against the 49ers in four team home games, he's worth putting in your lineup this week. So I definitely say start him. Start Felix Jones, Dallas Cowboys at Carolina. With DeMarco Murray down, Jones stepped up and suddenly looked like a productive back, picking up 92 yards and a touchdown on 18 carries in week six. He plays Carolina and they've allowed 127 rushing yards per game. He can easily be counted on to give you some solid fantasy points. Start Chris Johnson. Yay! Tennessee Titans what, at what? Buffalo. We've talked about him a lot this season, but this is worth repeating. Johnson has had a tough schedule. Yet in the past two of three games, he has rushed for over 90 yards. With the Bills being the absolute worst at rushing defense in the league, 173 yards per game, nine touchdowns. Despite your earlier frustrations, Johnson needs to be active this week. Start CJ Spiller Buffalo Bills versus Tennessee, our Titans. A timeshare does hurt him a little bit here in this scenario, but Spiller showed how explosive he can be in week six with 110 total yards and 16 touches. That's all he needed to be effective, and it was hard to imagine him getting less than this week. So definitely start him. The Titans have allowed seven rushing touchdowns, and he'll probably get one against him. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I feel bad. Sit Jonathan Stewart, D'Angelo Williams, Carolina Panthers versus Detroit. In Spiller's case, a timeshare doesn't hurt him, but in Carolina's backfield, it does. That's because we really can't predict who is going to get the ball, who's going to get the bulk of the carries. So making both, both of them extremely risky plays against the Lions, defensively, that has yielded one of the rushing touchdowns in five games. Wide receivers start Hakeem Nix, New York Giants versus the Washington Redskins. Washington? The Washington? <laughs> <laughs> Victor Cruz may be a better play, but against the Washington Redskins defense, that have allowed 15 touchdowns and a league high of 328 passing yards per game. There will be more than enough opportunities to go around. More Sit. More than enough. Some for everyone. I know. Sit Kendall, uh, Kendall Wright, Tennessee Titans at Buffalo, I hate to say. Oh. In deeper formats, you might get a little bit more out of him, but with Kenny mm -hmm. Britt back, I don't think he'll see a lot of action or attention oh, yeah. at all. Who do you think, Sharka Shalak, Cher Rivera, who do you think to sit? 
Well, you know, I love all my fans. So I let them pick <laughs> who to start and who to set this week. Uh-huh. So I'm going to bring it up. Don't you mean your stalkers? Uh, no, Nancy. I prefer to them as loved ones. Oh. You, you refer to them as, you know. I love everybody. Stalkers. I even love Kelsey. <laughs> she is a... Everyone loves Kelsey. I know. So I went with my top three people. Uh, mm -hmm. or I got in a, a lot of people sent in. But I decided to start... Scott Chandler. Okay. He um, he's cute. Yeah. He's can we get his for number? The Bills. You can. <laughs> he's Send adorable. Him a little tweet. I will. Going on to Mike Goodson mm -hmm. for the Oakland Raiders, number twenty-five, running back. Sit him, you say? No, no, no. Start him. Start He's him. Top three. Okay. Starts, okay. According to people who wrote in. Then Doug Martin. He is a running back for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Moving on to sit him. Rashard Mendenhall. Well, yeah. Yeah. Running back, Pittsburgh Steelers. Having a tough time lately. Reggie Wayne. Wedgie? He had a blow-up uh, week a couple weeks ago. Did really yeah. good. Yeah, but I don't know about this week. Uh, for, so he's a wide receiver for the Indianapolis Colts. And, and they're the playing last, the Cleveland, Cleveland Browns. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's fine. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Indianapolis versus Cleveland. And then the last sit him is Jordy Nelson. <gasps> I'm not going to sit him. That's really? dumb. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know. Am I getting bad information? I think, well, I'm not going to tell anybody to sit Jordy Nelson. I'm starting Jordy Nelson. He, he has a great smile. He's awfully cute. Here, is that oh, why you're going to start him? Maybe. With that, that million dollar smile. He blew up for me last week, Jordan. you guys. And I, I don't know. He's been consistent. And I think... I mean, they're playing the Rams. It depends on who else you have on your league, though. Well, that's true, but he, he's a starter for me. I mean, if you want to go to my uh, roster, then you can see why. Well, we Let's should do, do that. Why not? Why don't we go to our see who you're playing our Talkopolis Titans I am. this week. What I do you am. going to happen with that? I don't know. Somebody I think you're going to get it handed to you again. <laughs> <laughs> I won last yeah, week. Yeah, I said it. Go into, go into week six and look at what happened. Okay. Even though you beat me two weeks ago, that's old news. I think news. I beat you always. That's old news, sister. Wait, this is me. Wait, no, no, no. No, it's not. Just kidding. You crushed the Titans. 138 to 88. Mm -hmm. Crushed. That was Tuesday. Dominated. I, mean, I found out about that on Tuesday. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that streak going, and I'm going to crush them, too. But they really have to take out Javon Ringer is out. Javon okay. Ringer is out. Obviously, sit him. Let's. He's out for four weeks, so I would probably um, uh, drop him and pick somebody else up at this point. Let's make our changes right now. Can you? Or are you in the Takopolis oh, Titans I situation? Can. I am ready for this situation. I don't think you can do it. Uh, who do you want to take out? I will show you right now. Let's see. Go. Do it. Who do you want to take out? Well, we have Kenny Britt. He's back. He's playing. He okay. he, he made that huge play in the so win over the Steelers. So we're going to replace him with Kendall Ryder, Nate mm -hmm. Washington. I'm sorry. What? Which one, who do you want to replace Kenny Britt with? I would like to see Kendall Wright. Didn't you even? Yeah. We talked about. We just talked about Kendall Wright. We talked about sitting him. So let's let's sit him. I'm doing we it. You, well, you know what? You really need to calm I, down. I I, I could never be a relax. doctor because I got no patience. Fantasy football. No. Just take a breather. I'm upset. I'm volume, visibly upset. Okay? Go. We moved him. Okay. Okay, but the main thing is the guy with the O right next to his name. Who are you talking about? Javon Ringer. Jake Locker. What O? Oh, for crying out loud! We know Jake Locker's out. Javon Ringer. What about him? We need to sit him. Okay. Let's we, move it. But I mean, but don't because I'm playing them. So if you don't sit them, then I have a better chance to win. So let's sabotage the, t the Tuckopolis Titans. Let's just do it. No one will ever know. I am not surprised. <laughs> let's just we do it. We're supposed to be rooting for the Tuckopolis Titans. I know. And I'm going to try to have Rob Baronis on the show next week and, and maybe Tim Shaw, who I adore, who blocked the punt for the Steelers and, and it was a huge part in winning the well, game. Put your money where your mouth is. I'm ready. All right. Did you do it? I didn't move Javon Ringer because you you're going to have to put in. It. I, would, I would really love if we could start um, Craig Stevens. Okay. <laughs> you. You know. <laughs> what? I'm not responsible, okay, guys? Can we tell everybody? Can we talk about something else? Uh, <laughs> All right, change him. Wait. Change him. Put wait. in. I would say Are put you in talk Jamie about Harper. Yourself? Because you say talk about something else, I assume that's where you're going. Of course, you want to set I'd Javon like Ringer to then. talk about me. Or who are we going to replace him with? 
Well, our only two options for running back is Amard Hall and Jamie Harper. So let's put in Jamie Harper right now, and then if somebody can um, tweet us or email us at talkopolis um, slash situation, tell the people, tell the nice people. What? Where they can, e I know it's Nancy at Talkopolis. That's where they can tell me how pretty I am and things like that. Guest at Talkopolis.com. All your inquiries will go there. Or info at Talkopolis.com. Mm -hmm. Or you can send us a message on Facebook or Twitter or go to www.talkopolis.com mm -hmm. and watch all the shows and leave your comments there. And tell us who to start uh, running back wise for Tennessee, if you know. So who do you think's going to blow up? Who do you think's going to blow up? Who should we pick up? All, the, all that jazz. I have some pickups this week. Okay. Um, wide receiver Mike Williams for Tampa Bay. If he's still available, pounce on him. Right? Just like you. Yeah. Uh, Matt Hasselbeck, um, our own Tennessee Titan against the Bills, um, who have been most generous on their defense with quarterbacks. They've been allowing tons of foul play and touchdowns and yards all over the place. So pick up Matt. I mean, he did good. He's been doing good for us. Mm -hmm. um, Felix Jones. With DeMarco Murray out, we, we talked about starting him, but um, if you if he's a free agent in your league, which would be crazy, uh, pick him up. He's playing the Carolina Panthers, and they have second most generous touchdowns they allow. So those are my pickups. Do you have anybody? No, I was just going to highlight the injury report. I was letting you take that today. I think we should do that. So Let everybody... Oh, my gosh! What? Steve Hutchinson is hurt. He did not uh, practice. It just says not injury-related. I oh. don't know what happened. Maybe but he's holding see, out. Jake Locker, of course. I went to high out. school with him. Did you know that? Jake Locker or Steve no, Hutchinson? No, Steve Hutchinson. Oh, well, ain't that cute? He's super cute. He's yeah. a great guy. He's your friend. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Jake Locker's out and Javon Ringer is out. Javon. <laughs> Javon Ringer. Uh, he still has a hurt knee. And he didn't practice and he's mm -hmm. going to be out for four games. Mm -hmm. And also Tommy Campbell, hurt ankle. Back. So that's all the outs. All right. I think we should tell everybody who's on bye week in case you missed it. The Falcons, the Broncos, the Chiefs, the Dolphins, the Eagles, Your and the Dolphins. Chargers. My Dolphins, I know, I'm so sad. But like that's a lot of bye weeks. We're getting into uh, that time of the year when there's at least six uh, teams out on bye weeks. So pay attention to your bye weeks when you're doing your roster, when you're doing your lineup. That's right. So you want to give the lowdown on who's playing who? Yeah, we have the Seahawks at the 49ers. We have Cowboys at the Panthers. Saints versus the Vik uh No, Cardinals versus Vikings. No, where? Cardinals at Vikings. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saints, Buccaneers, uh, Packers, Rams, Redskins, Redskins Giants, Giants. Ravens, Texans, Titans, Bills. Titans okay, you can finish. I wanted to do a couple. I can't stand the Jets, but everybody knows that already. <laughs> Jets, Patriots, Jaguars, Raiders. Steelers at the Bengals and Monday night's football game, the Lions Monday at the Bears should be football. a should be a big deal. Should be a big oh, game. A big deal. I know. So, so I think uh, we should talk about a couple of questions that were tweeted in at us. Let's do it. Do it. So since you're the expert at Fat Marlon Brando, <laughs> <laughs> it's an excellent name. Mm -hmm. um, at Fat Marlon Brando ask, as someone who frequently leaves points on the bench, what are some basic guidelines for picking starters based on their matchups each week? I do the same thing. I You're Fat Ma Marlon Brando. I am. Brando. <laughs> is that your alias? I hate to say it, but then again, my my bench is so stacked, like my solid team, that I can't help but leave fantasy points on my bench. I am that good. Next okay. question. So I don't know if you helped him. <laughs> but I, I didn't. Let's let's actually talk about Fat okay. Fat Brando. Okay. Here's what I would do, Fat Brando. I would definitely, like I said from day one, fantasy football is a game of skill. It's you got to do your homework. You have to do the research. You have to put the time in. Mm -hmm. Go see who your quarterbacks are starting against. Look at their defense. Like we had been talking about, if they allow a bunch of yards in the air, if you know, then your quarterback might score. So start that quarterback. Um, look at the defenses. Who the people are playing is all I can really tell you. I mean, doesn't Pay that attention. make sense? Pay attention. Your what am I here for? <laughs> I mean, I'm, I got my own. I got two teams that I have to worry oh, about. Oh, pigskin pussycats. Pigskin pussycats and, and Burt Reynolds and Sacks in the cats. city. Oh, oh, I Sacks can't even in the keep city. Up with all of them. I know. There's I mean, so they, many. they have a lot of nerve asking me what to do when right. I have two teams to worry about my damn self. You can't worry I mean, about really. that, Brando. It's ridiculous. Okay, 
So GB Williams asks, has RG3 reached his rookie ceiling? Considering mm -hmm. injury potential, would it be smart to start and move him now for a safer option like Breeze or either Manning? I would definitely do the safer option. Breeze or Manning, too. you can't go wrong with Breeze, and you can't go wrong with Manning. Well, and they're Who all in are they piece. playing? Let's, let, let's do his research for, I mean, because we got nothing else to do. Let's do his <laughs> research for, for him. Okay, the, the uh, Manning is the Broncos. Let's go to the Broncos and see who they're playing. Can you imagine if they were on a bye week? <laughs> yeah, we're like all I would definitely not Manning. start Manning then <laughs> in that case. Um, can somebody please tell me who the, I don't see them. I think they are on a bye week. Can you go look at your bye weeks again? What? You're on the same site. For crying Jesus, in my conscience. Nancy, Jesus. The Broncos are on a bye week. I knew it. I had a feeling. So definitely don't start. I mean, Rewind. for crying out loud. Rewind. Don't start him. <laughs> totally. Bull in your leg. That's actually funny. You could keep that. <laughs> and um, start okay. Breeze. Start Breeze. That's who I say. So um, Gary sense. Epstein asks, who has the better long-term fantasy future, RG3 or Andrew Luck? Oh, that's a good question. Um, RG3 has been blowing up. It doesn't even seem like a rookie, and neither does Luck. But I definitely have to say the way Luck is playing, he is solid in every way, shape, and form. He reminds me of a young Peyton Manning. It seems like I think he has the uh, I think he has the head to go along with the mm -hmm. skill, mm -hmm. and I think we're going to see a lot of things out of him from well, and RG3 for just time had to a come. Concussion, right? It seems like he yeah, he's he's gets playing. A lot more. Yeah, that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. So so tendency not to get hurt, longer career, probably Andrew Luck. I would definitely say Andrew Luck. I see a lot of promise in him. And I just um, I wish we got him on the Dolphins. We had the chance. Don't start. I can't even handle it. I really like this question. GB Williams also asked, does Bryant has dropped more balls than Dick Clark? <laughs> <laughs> Why? It has That's balls. Awesome. You have to answer this one. I like Des. <laughs> um, I've liked Des for quite some time now. He's on my uh, Sax in the City pigskin pussycat league. But I do, st I do. I do sit him quite a bit because he does drop the ball. Um, Why? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know why he drops the ball. Maybe he's nervous. I mean, Maybe he's he getting the fingers. ball. He's getting the ball. What he should do is get some of that. He's thinking when about I, you. That's why. He is I thinking about me. <laughs> what happened was when we used to do, when I used to do Hawaiian Tropic. <laughs> Um, you did? Were you I missing did. Hawaii? Did. I did. I had. Um, I was Miss Palm Beach, and I went to Hawaii, wow. and went to Vegas, and the internationals, Why don't and the nationals, have your and all that stuff. Displayed here. Well, well, next and week, like, you know, I will. I'll have my trophies, stuff. and I'll wear my sash, I and mean, everything. The other shows are decorating the desk. We need to get up on this. As I was saying. Back to the um, topic. Yes, <laughs> the girls, because you know, you weren't allowed to have the bathing suits go up your butt, you know, because okay. G-strings yeah. and then you'd be Nobody disqualified. Wants Nobody wants that. Bottom. So what we'd have is this spray glue. Oh, I, I use that too. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'd spray our butt and then we'd put our bathing suit in place like this mm -hmm. as we make yeah, that right move, up. just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's what he should do. He should totally spray his hands. Is that illegal? Uh, Des, I know you're watching. I wouldn't tell anybody. Spray your hands so you can hold on to the ball. <laughs> Next question. That's my advice. Okay. Um, Matchbox 20 stud asks Fred Jackson, Jackson or M M Richard Mendenhall in the flex? Well, Richard, Richard is, is uh, coming off of an injury. Mm -hmm. Who's the first guy? Fred Jackson? Uh, no. Neither one. Pick somebody else up. Pick up. Um, good players. I don't like either one of those. Yeah. I would definitely look at your free agents in your league, um, pick up the best available, and see who they're playing, and see if the defense is allowing yards. And allowing touchdowns, and then start that guy. Watch your bye weeks. That's right. I don't like either one of those people. Okay, nerd dick ask. What? Yeah, I I don't know. With a name like that, what can we expect? What can value does a question? player with dual el eligibility hold in fantasy football? Myself, coming from a long history in fantasy hockey, is it significant? I don't even understand that question. <laughs> what? I think he's saying like Wait, they can play multiple positions, like. But that's but what does hockey have to do with it? Well, because there's I think there's a lot more people in hockey that play multiple positions. I just I, I think maybe he's what saying, does a like, player with dual his, eligibility hold in fantasy like football? How valuable are they? Is what he's asking. I just I I think there's a lot more in hockey. It's a different game. I I mean if he's talking about the uh, the players that can rush and receive, then yeah I mean it it all that question really all depends on the format that your commissioner set up for your league. If it's a um, if it's a shallow you know only the people that are like diehard diehard fantasy will understand this. 
But, um, and I hope those are the people that are watching because, you know, anyway. But, um, Come on, nerd dick. You gotta be there. <laughs> yeah, that was a kind of a vague question. But, um, I mean, depends on your format. I mean, if you get points for uh, your running back also catching the ball, then yes, dual eligibility players will come into play and will help you. But if you don't, if you only get points for your running backs running the ball, then it really doesn't matter if they receive. Okay. So. Well, let's uh, let's pick one more question. So, Money Bubbles ask Week Seven matchup. Why do we have the? Why do we know these people? <laughs> <laughs> then again, can I really they, talk? They know you. And apparently. assassinating dragons. Can she talk? No. And can Rachel am, Bradshaw talk? I am the Pittsburgh fun, feelers. Fun, fun. She can't talk either. <laughs> Look at my shirt. I mean, how would you not I'm, think this is confetti party over here? Uh, I'm in love with this shirt. Matter of fact, I'm going to need you when I go bike you. riding. I these earrings. Thank you. They're I'm going to need wonderful. you when I play in traffic. <laughs> I'm going to need you when I. <laughs> Why am I not surprised that they came out of your mouth? Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Where did they go? Okay, Muggy Bubbles asked the week seven matchup question mm -hmm. James Jones versus St. Louis or Kenny Britt versus Buffalo? Well, we talked about starting Kenny Britt. Um, the Buffalo B uh, the Buffalo Bills defense is the worst uh, out there. The defense is giving up a gazillion yards in the air, on the ground. Oh my gosh, that's part of the Miami Dolphins song. Bria, my niece is in the studio today. I have a niece that's almost my age, <laughs> right? <laughs> I can say that, can't I? They, they love it. They love when I joke like that. Um, that was the Dolphins song. You want to come on and sing it, Bria? Do ya? She's Do ya? Leave her alone. Leave her alone. They're in there. They're on the ground. They're always in control. No one knows And when you say control. Miami, you're talking Super Bowl because we're the my. Okay, no. All right, but you guys want to know my joke, what Buffalo Bills stands for? Yes. Bills. Boy, I love losing Super Bowls. <laughs> I, love, I love that one because we're, you know, we hate the Buffalo Bills down here in uh, South Florida, even though we're in Tennessee right now. Yeah. But I'm from South Florida. Everyone knows that. Okay. All right. So it was... Did so you, did you answer that? Did no, dismiss it. That was my total. That was my answer. Okay. I mean, yes, I said Stark and Brett. We the Buffalo Bills defense is atrocious, hideous, hideous. They're giving up tons of stuff. Finally, answer. Start, Brett. Right out of the mouth of the. Don't want to pony. Don't want to call you a horse. What? <laughs> <laughs> right out of the mouth of the horse. What <laughs> happened to you? Did I do that to you? Um, I was actually held up hostage one time. It's like a. Is that true? Is that a true story? Because well, I know when my radio? stories when my stories die and I you know I start lying. So, so is that what you're doing? Do your net like this, you know, and scared you? Would you lie about it when people asked you later? No, you're kind of creeping me out now. I know, right? You <laughs> ask a serious question, you get a serious answer. Holy shellackish! Bullshit. Okay. It is a <laughs> She had the crazy eyes in there. I was concerned. <laughs> I was born with it. Just you know. Is it a love birthmark? Me the way I am. I do love you. <laughs> I do. I really Final love my. Answer. I love my shark a shellac. And she hates that. I call her that. You guys. That's all we have today. Thank my you. little pony and I are <laughs> signing off. Thank you so much Tune for tuning in. in. Tuesday, actually Wednesday this next week. Yes, do it. We'll have a lot for you. See ya. Bye. Microcasting for your city. Talk Opolis.